Welcome Libra to Amore e Bella Tero. Do like, share, subscribe and comment as that is the fuel that keeps me motivated to keep coming forth with some free entertainment. Libra. I am doing personal readings Libra so if you're interested do look at the link down below. This reading Libra is for the first week of June. Spirits of peace and love. Thank you for letting me enter into your space Libra. I am loving this. Peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? <sighs> All right, spirits of peace and love. Thank you, Father Almighty. Amen. All right, Libra. We have your first uh, energy here is purity. So it looks like you have gone within and you have evolved here, Libra, and you you see things different. You 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 see things differently. You have evolved, you have grown. All right. Libra. Yay. What else do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance? What self-reflection so you have gone within here uh libra and you you see your value you see your worth you see what you want out of life <clears throat> beautiful all right what else do we have for beautiful libras you're growing you're evolving yes i can see that all right we're gonna pull two more for our beautiful libras here for this first week of june Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for Libra? Boundaries. So you put boundaries, you have set boundaries here, um, Libra. You have evolved, you have grown, you see things differently, you know what you want, and you're going to go for it. You're going to go for it. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of stuff. Look at how she's, uh, how there's like a flower sp sprouting from, from her like, it's like the, the 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 flower has broken that boundary that idea those ideas are coming through that's what i feel libra all those ideas in your mind you're putting them to work you're going to bring you a lot of abundance here libra what else spirit to peace and love do we have for our beautiful libras extremes okay uh so extremes hmm. So maybe you do have to put boundaries right here, uh, Libra. So people, um, so you don't, uh, so people don't take advantage of you here, Libra. So you have to put your your boundaries there so people don't take advantage of you, Libra. You're a good person, Libra. You have good energy, and sometimes people like to take advantage of of people that have good good hearts and 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 abundance ideas abundant in ideas hmm. okay we're going to clarify all right spirits peace and love what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful libras for this first week of june spirits of peace and love what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful libras for this first week of june spirits of peace and love what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? Uh, I am doing personal readings, Libra, so if you're interested, do look at the link down below. All right, Libra, what do we have for our beautiful Libras? Woohoo! Why is this purity card here for Libras? Why is this purity card here, Spirits of Peace and Love? How do we clarify Spirits of Peace and Love, this card of purity? Why is this here? You got two cards, okay? You got, you got this um, energy, Libra, of somebody who comes in and goes out. Just a flighty energy that is not, you're not trusting this energy. <clears throat> you're not trusting this person, okay? You're very intuitive, uh, Libra. And here, Libra, you have been planting all these seeds. You have been working really diligently. You've been working really hard. You don't, you haven't, can't really touch it, 
but you know that your abundance is coming. The tree is full of money right there, Libra, and it's soon to fall on your basket, okay? That is beautiful, Libra. All right. What else do we have for our beautiful Libra? So let's clarify this Seven of Pentacles here for Libra. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Spirits of Peace and Love. You have the Magician here, Libra. Woo! So you are... You have all the tools, you have all the knowledge to manifest whatever you want from this lifetime, Libra, okay? You have all the right tools, you have all the right knowledge, you have all the equipment to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. This is your life, Libra. Make it happen, all right? Let's move on to this uh, self-reflection here for Libra. What do we have? We have... The high priestess look at you libra look at you now how about that you have evolved to such a higher self to where you're almost angelic very intuitive very intuitive here libra so you will be doing great what else do we have for our beautiful libras here on this first week of june why is this high priestess here very intuitive that's what you want that's what you're going to get, Libra. You want the Ten of Cups, happy home, abundant, uh, mental stimulation, physical stimulation, abundance, every, everything. Everything is in that partnership. That is what you deserve. That is what you're going to have because look at you. Because they, be, they have to be vibing just like you are, Libra. If they're not vibing as you are, then you're not going to accept their energy. So that's what's going to make this partnership so amazing. All right, Libra. Why is this Ten of Cups here for Libra? Spirits of peace and love. Somebody feels inadequate. Somebody feels like they're not enough. Somebody feels like they're... Um, maybe you might be feeling that like this right now, Libra. Maybe you feel like you're not sufficient, like you don't deserve something, but you deserve all this because you have evolved to a higher self. You're working hard and everything that you've been working hard for, Libra, is coming to you, all right? But somebody feels inadequate. Somebody feels like maybe all you've been working so hard for is not paying off here, Libra, but it's coming, all right? It's coming. There's going to be an offer of passion, an offer of... Um, there's going to be an offer. Okay, somebody wants to tell you that they want to get with you here, Libra. All right, but let's clarify this little. I don't know. Just, yeah, they want to talk to you. They want to let you know how they feel. They want to, they call these the Cupid arrows too. So maybe they want to conversate with you. They want to maybe offer you some, some love here. Um, Libra, let's say, let's continue. Let's go to the boundaries. Why is the boundaries card here for our beautiful Libras? Now, no, this is not going to reside with all the Libras in the whole world, Libra. So take what resides and leave the rest. This is the queen of um, swords, Libra. Whoever doesn't come at you right, Libra, you will cut them. Okay? Truthful. You better come truthful with the, our Libras because if you don't come right, you don't come with the truth, Libra will cut you. That's what that means. That queen is known. She's a mind over heart. Okay. Mind over heart. 100%. Okay. That's Libra. Uh, three of Wands. You know there's something magical. There's something in the horizon for you. You could feel it with the Three of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You know that there's something really good coming to you, Libra. You could feel it and it's coming. But... It's on its way. It's on its way, Libra. All right. Let's clarify this three of pentacles for our beautiful Libras for this first week of uh, June. You have strength. So you're holding tightly to your emotions. You're not making any decisions. You're just working hard on your money. But you can feel like there's something good in the horizon. Look how you're looking at the horizon. Like it's coming. It's coming. It is. It's coming. All right. Let's pull one more here on the strength card. Why is the strength card here for Libra. The sun, the sun, Libra. This is the happiest card in the whole deck here, Libra, okay? So there's going to be joy, there's going to be abundance, there's going to be uh, what you think is coming is going to surprise you. It's bigger than you could think. It's way bigger than you could imagine. 
All right, that is beautiful and it's coming. All right, let's move on to this extremes. Why is this extremes card here, Spirits of Peace and Love? Why is this card here? You want equal give and take. You want a partnership that is equal give and take. You don't want nothing extreme. You just want something that is equal. That's all. We don't ask for much, Libra. We are not asking for much. Oh, I'm right, just saying we ain't asking for much. Because you have evolved, Libra. You have grown so much. You have gone to the depths of the depths of your soul, to the darkest of the darkest, and you have come out. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You know what you're going to get. You know it because you are manifesting it here, Libra, and the heavens are sending it to you. Yes. Claim it. Claim it. All right, Libra. Why is this hermit here? Yeah, you're not going to argue anymore. You're no more comp you don't want to compete anymore. You know what you're worth. You know what you want and you're going to go get it. You're going to go get it. Yep. All right. Why is this five of wands here for a beautiful Libra? Spirits of peace and love. Why is this five of wands here for Libra? You have evolved to the empress. Whoop, whoop, a doo. How about that? You have evolved to such a higher self. You're very intuitive very beautiful you're going to be very abundant here uh, Libra good things are coming to you because you have gone within you have evolved and you have the Sun card okay that's all I gotta say what more do you want to know that's all you gotta know that's all you gotta know all right we're gonna clarify with uh, one more deck here and then we will ask for advice from the romance angels uh, Libra and that will conclude our beautiful spread Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for Libras for this first week of June? I can't believe we're already in June, Libra. Time is a flying. Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras for this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our Libras? For this first week of June. Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our Libras for this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love. All right, let's pull one for each placement on the spread and then we will uh, see what they are. Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras? All right, first one we got. The Page of Pentacles. This is a solid long-term offer coming your way. Yeah, yeah. Solid, long-term, honest. Yes, that's the one we want. All right, beautiful. And then you have the Ten of... Oh, I love it. Libra, look at this. Libra, this is so beautiful. In the same placement with two different decks, you have the Ten of Cups. How is that even possible? Okay, because you have evolved to a higher self. You know what you want. You know what you want and you're not going to settle for anything other than your happy, abundant, loving home. Ha! All right. And here we have the King of Wands um, energy here, Libra. Very intelligent, very focused. You know what you want and you're going to go for it. And then you have the Sun card here. So everything's the heavens are on your behalf here, Libra. You're going to achieve everything that you have in your mind everything and somebody's collaborating with you uh here libra somebody's working with you to achieve all these uh, goals and all these um, dreams that you have all these goals that you have set okay beautiful libra and to conclude our beautiful spread here libra we're gonna ask for some advice from the romance angels to see what other clarification we need for our beautiful Libras for this first week of the spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our Libras here on this first week of June? Spirits of peace and love. Oh, what advice and guidance do we have for our Libras in lube? All right, here we go. Romance angels, what advice and guidance do you have romance angels what advice and guidance do you have for our beautiful libra spirits of peace and love romance angels what do you have all right 
All right, and this will, oh no, I got another one, guys. I have an oracle, angel oracle also to read to you guys. Here you have children. Your love life is being affected by children here, uh, Libra. So yeah, we do make most of our decisions uh, to make sure that our children are doing okay, all right? And this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So something grand, and I feel it. Oh, look, and it fell right here. <laughs> That's so cool. So look at this. Look at that, Libra. As what's coming to you. So it's worth waiting for it most definitely. All right. And then it says here, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So yeah, one has to love oneself. You have to love yourself in order to be able to be a complete individual for a perfect partnership, a perfect union. And here you have make the effort, uh, Libra. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right, so the heavens are guiding you to take those to make those decisions to get out of the box here, Libra. To to um, to get that love that you deserve. That's the most magical feeling in the world. Okay, uh, Libra, let's, let's go for it. Let's not live life without it, okay? Okay, this will conclude our reading. This is our advice from the angels of abundance, all right? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Libras? For this the first the week of June, Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have? angels of abundance what do you have to tell our beautiful libras on this first week of june all right what do we have what do we have let's see gratitude list here a libra it says <clears throat> Continuing your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to recenter in your heart instead of fixate on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. Yay, that's beautiful 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 libra so so don't let worries bother your mind uh, libra this is what it's telling you you know that the heavens have your back you know that uh, the heavens are on your side so let them take care of it all right because you you're going to receive so much more if you just let the heavens take care of you all right libra thank you so much libra and blessings